Despite strong government repression, a wind of change blows increasingly stronger in Iran. What began as demonstrations September 16, 2022, about the death of a young Kurdish woman, Masa Amini, at the hands of the morality police, continues today among all ethnic groups and in most of the country. The first cries continue off women life freedom, but you hear more and more down with the Islamic Republic. People are arguing a radical social change. This is a new generation of protesters, too young to have been in the 2009 Green Movement protests, linked to the election of the President Abrahim Raisi and the high cost of living. The country still faces economic difficulties, but the hopes that the government under a gradual reforms have given step to protests for naturally off the government. More and more people are arguing the nature of a post-theocratic government. People are discussing a change radical social, strict government control and his conservative allies. It is fading rapidly. Blame game. The protests that began with women's leadership, focused on women's issues, have become increasingly mixed by gender, age and ethnicity. The issues raised have also become broader. The government is seriously concerned, but is unable to create a vision contrary to its current theocratic framework. Repression is the government's line of defense. Government security forces have killed about 300 people, and it is estimated that around 14,000 have been arrested. The government has tried to blow NATO, the United States and Israel as sources of demonstrations, although there is an active community of Iranians in the U.S. who generality are liberal in their socio-political convictions. The current demonstrations are not the result of efforts of the Iranian exiles or the U.S. government. Few people in Iran are fooled for the blame game. The protesters do not have coordinated leadership. The demonstrations are creating new bonds of solidarity between people who did not know each other before. It is impossible to know at this stage how events will develop. The military and especially the Revolutionary Guard can be strengthened since they are well organized. While the protesters do not have coordinated leadership, it's hard to know how to support the protests from outside the country. But the situation serves a lot of attention. What do you think about the political and social situation in Iran? Give us your opinion in the comments box and share this video among your family and friends. Thank you for watching this video until the end. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like it and activate the notification bell to let you know when we publish a new video. Until next time.